Dwellers of uh, this month to sign the final agreement between Eritrea and Ethiopia. We have also touched base on uh, the number of activities that the UN is involved in assisting the sub region, particularly in uh, dealing with uh, drought induced famine threats. Uh, we were very grateful for uh, the Secretary General to assign Ms. Bertini, who is just next, next to him. Uh, she has done a wonderful job. Uh, we sincerely believe the region, together with the United Nations and the international community, we have succeeded to avert a major disaster that could have claimed the lives of uh, tens of uh, thousands. We have also discussed uh, the security and uh, uh, related issues of the sub-region in general. Uh, we have agreed that peace building in a comp post-conflict situation is uh, of enormous challenge and needs the full backing of the international community. And I have expressed to him Ethiopia's uh, confidence uh, in the UN system and, and, and the international community that they would lend us hands to uh, remain busy, to continue busy in uh, uh, building this peace and, and uh, in rebuilding the uh, war shattered uh, economy and social uh, displacement. Thank you. I think this is a, a positive note and a hopeful sign for the African continent. And we, are the United Nations and the international community, are determined to work with the two countries to ensure that the peace, uh, that peace will be durable and long lasting. We have started deploying our peacekeepers and we will work with the parties to do the border demarcation. We do not intend to linger and as soon as our work is done, we will withdraw. We will to accomplish this operation on time. We also discuss the need for economic and social assistance and development. And of course, as you heard, we touched on the issue of drought and medium and longer term food security. For economic and social development. We must do it out of the uh, concern and loyalty to our people. Because my special representative here uh, leading our peace efforts in the region. Issue of uh, delimitation and demarcation of the boundary between the two countries, the issue of uh, claims compensation uh, that uh, has been uh, there are the consequences of this uh, tragic war. Another issue is uh, investigation to the uh, origin of, of, of the crisis. But most importantly, it is also with the situation of uh, citizens, uh, Ethiopian citizens in Eritrea and Eritrean citizens here in Ethiopia. A related issue also is of uh, POWs and so on.
Along the, the Military Coordination Commission is discussing the issue. Uh, the, I believe uh, Ambassador Miguel is here, who have been heading uh, uh, the mission, which met in Nairobi uh, last week. And uh, they are in the process of uh, finalizing issues that they need to finalize. And I have learned that the meeting was very successful. But just to add on to that, we will need maps from both parties to be able to move very quickly to the mine. And uh, I think it's very urgent that we get the maps. And we are in discussions with the parties. And I'm hopeful that they will support to uh, make it doable and to ensure that post-conflict peace building takes place. Obviously, um, when it comes to making peace, in the final analysis, it is, the, it is up to the countries and the parties involved to, to do the real heavy lifting. International community can help, outsiders can help. Yes. And I think uh, um, the peace that is going to be signed in on GSM quite confident to go because the parties want it to go. The parties want it to go. You miss the pictures. <laughs> you mix. Thank you, sir. Good. Go in front, go in front. Yes. 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 Uh, I've had a very, very good discussion with the Prime Minister, and uh, I'm, I've been very, very encouraged by this visit. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the war is over. The agreement will be signed on the 12th, and we then have to focus on the question of reconstruction and uh, economic and social development. And here, I hope the international community and those with capacity to give will give and give generously. And I think this is a, a positive story, a great story for Africa, and I'm really happy that we are ending the year with a story of peace. And I hope this story of peace, this message of peace, will carry us through the next year, and that this is only the beginning and that we should be seeing other peaceful uh, uh, settlements on the African continent. And thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for the cooperation you've extended to the UN throughout, extended to my special representative who's going to lead our UN efforts. And I also had the chance to thank the Prime Minister for the incredibly uh, uh, close and cooperative manner that they worked with Mrs. Bettini, who was my special envoy during the uh, earlier this year when we were afraid of the drought and uh, the government really really mm -hmm. worked with us in partnership with the NGOs and with the donor community and that was the only way the only way that we were able to avoid a tragedy so thank you mr. prime minister well uh, uh, I agree with the with our secretary general on all the issues that uh, he has raised uh, I've thanked him and his uh, uh, staff uh, for their uh, unstinting support, uh, not only uh, in terms of uh, the peace process, but also in terms of uh, preventing famine in our country. Uh, we couldn't have done that without their support and understanding. Uh, as you probably know, uh, as soon as we had recovered our territory, uh, unfortunately we recovered our territory by force, but as soon as we recovered our territory, we declared that as far as Ethiopia is concerned, the war is over. Uh, obviously, there were some loose ends that needed to be tied. Uh, I believe we are now in the final stretch. Uh, our cabinet is going to uh, discuss the peace package on the table, and our parliament is going to be also discussing the package on the peace table. I am optimistic and confident that this is the final stage of the whole process. Thank you.
Oh yeah? Yes. You guys disappeared. So I didn't see you. No, I came down. I came. Covering the situation in the continent, both of us, of course, are looking forward to the signing of the uh, comprehensive agreement between Ethiopia and Eritrea. We consider this to be a major achievement on the part of the OU and the part of the international community, and it's a fine example of cooperation between the United Nations and the OU and uh, other partners. We have reviewed the situation in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the situation in Sierra Leone, the situation in West Africa generally, the situation in Somalia, and both of us um, are determined to work together in trying to assist the processes that are going on there, uh, whether it is in Sierra Leone or whether it is in, um, uh, in Somalia. Uh, we have also uh, reviewed the situation in Cote d'Ivoire, uh, and both of us are concerned by the, uh, the recent developments there. Both the United Nations and the OAU have made it very clear that we were looking forward to an election in the country which is free and fair and transparent. Uh, we are c concerned that um, as a result of the decision by the court, uh, this has uh, created a lot of problems. And so the UN, as you know, has uh, already taken a decision. And I can tell you the OAU also, which had planned to send observers, and we had already an advanced team there. We are not in a position to do so now. So you won't send a no. observers? No. We have, we have a we have a small team there, which has been there, and it will stay there. But uh, we had uh, planned to send um, uh, additional observers, uh, but because of the situation, it is not possible to do so. Have you been in contact with President Babu? Yes, I was in, uh, I was in, uh, 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 personally I was in Abidjan before, and I had a good meeting with President Babu, and uh, I was hoping really that a new chapter had begun in, in Cote d'Ivoire, and so I'm all the more saddened by the recent developments, and I hope that um, uh, eventually, uh, uh, the, the spirit of reconciliation and the spirit of understanding in that country will prevail so that Cote d'Ivoire can live up to its traditional role. Thank you. Please, please, please. Anyway, you can get two more. Please, please. Yeah. 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 Yeah.